Shalom. Giving all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakakwadash. The born of the apostles and others, a great millstone that rule well. Much peace, blessings, and citations to the elect scattered throughout the four corners of the earth to you. I say Shalom. And uh, I want to play this video that I was listening to the other day. <clears throat> and uh, <laughs> I said I wanted to make a, vi a, a, a video on it. So uh, it's a Southern Prepper One, you know, these preppers out here. And he says something. And I was like, damn, boy. Hey, it's going to get like that. It's going to get nasty out here, man. It's going to get real nasty. So I want to play something that he said. Lots of things going on. I got to thinking. Is it easier to feed your neighbor or shoot your neighbor? Is it easier to feed your neighbor or to shoot your neighbor? Okay, that's what he said. Is it easier to feed your neighbor or to shoot your neighbor? And the answer is obviously because food is be going to become scarce. So the answer is it's going to be easier to shoot your neighbor than to feed him. And it's going to get like that. And the scriptures back that up. See, a lot of you preppers, you, you're, you're very carnal. And you don't know. You don't know what's really, really. You know what's about to happen. You know that this is a collapse. But you don't know how bad it's going to get. You you, you, you people have no idea how, how bad it's going to get out here. All right. So this is second Ezra 15 and 16. For there should be sedition among men. And invading one another People are going to be Invading one another <laughs> Okay Invading one another's houses Invading anything Looting All type of crazy shit Is about to happen They're talking about Rolling rolling blackouts What do people do When the lights go out You know the song How the song go The, the freaks come out at night <laughs> The freaks come out at night <laughs> Okay, they shall not regard their kings nor princes. So if they so happen to get on some type of emergency broadcast. Say, hey guys, stop, stop it! You guys, you need to stop and calm down. They're not going to listen to them. These different uh, politicians and governors and the president, no, they're not going to listen to them, them them anymore. And the course of their action shall stand in their power. Okay, so they're going to have the power. They're going to do whatever they please and whatever they wish. A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. For because of their pride, the city shall be troubled. The house, the houses shall be destroyed and men shall be afraid and men shall be afraid. So how much more are you women? That's see, that's when you're going to humble down. That's when you women going to humble down. Right. When I, when hell S what, what they call S H. Shit hit the fed SHTF Alright A man should have no pity upon his neighbor So the, 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 the love of many is gonna wax cold man Colder and colder You're gonna have friends Starting to look at each other with an evil eye Your neighbor that you've been neighboring with For the last 10-15 years And nowadays shit People people don't even talk to their neighbors nowadays To be honest Shit I don't, I don't you know too much talk to my neighbors You know because you can't trust these motherfuckers, man. You know, but it's good to, you know, to somewhat speak to your neighbors and, you know, whatever, man. Whatever the spirit leads you to do. All right. So you're going to have neighbors uh, uh, having no pity upon one another. OK, you different preppers that 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 your neighbor knows you're prep, you're, you're prepped up. You know, he said, what is it easier to shoot your neighbor or to feed your neighbor? Now, he's talking about feeding his neighbor. Talking about getting a whole bunch of peanut butter and jelly sandwiches <laughs> and feeding his neighbor so he won't <laughs> so he won't have to shoot him. <laughs> See what the scriptures say? The na your neighbor gonna turn on you, man. You he gonna take that damn peanut butter and jelly sandwich and try and kill you. Okay? I'm laughing, but this is serious because you preppers, you people in the world, you don't understand what's really about to happen. People are gonna be in dire need of food. And no, all rules go out the door when, when, when your stomach growling, your, your children's stomach growling. You, we, got, we got the records to prove that.
People have uh, uh, aborted their own kids, their children, their sons and daughters. Their own children, man, their own seed. They, 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 they had to kill them. They had to murder them to eat. It says, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods. They're going to come in there and get your, your, your food, man. Because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. All right, let's continue. And that's going to come down there. If your neighbor's starving to death, he's going to want to take from you. And that's if your neighbor is starving, he's going to want to take from you. All right. That is true. That is true. Second Ezra 6 and 22. And suddenly shall the sown places appear on sown. The full storehouses shall suddenly be found empty. And what's going to, what, 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 when they go to the Publix and these different Kroger's and Walmart's, what do you think going to happen? All right. What, 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 what do you think is going to happen? Okay. They, they, people are going to, People are going to fight. People are going to fight one another. People are going to start to kill one another. That's what's going to happen. Verse 24. And at that time shall friends fight one another. Friends fight one against another like enemies. Friends, you, you people you call your besties, man. And the earth shall stand in fear with those that dwell therein. The springs of the fountain shall stand still. And in three hours shall they not run. So friends are going to fight one another. Family's going to start fighting one another. Why? No food. Just human nature. When your belly's Is, empty for three days and your kid's belly's empty for three days, you're going to do crazy things. You're going to do crazy things. Yeah, they are. People are going to do, and this is what we're warning the people, man. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is warning you people that this, things are about to get crazy. Return unto him. Repent. People are going to start doing some crazy shit, man. Crazy. So, you can prepare... To defend yourself at all costs from your neighbor. And, and uh, to be honest, man, it ain't no way out of this. You can't you can't even defend yourself, man. You ain't gonna be able to defend yourself for what's coming. And I mean, as an Israelite man, I know we're the strongest beings on the planet Earth. You know, some of us we work out and you know we're strong, and some of us are fast. And hey, man, what's coming? You not gonna be able to defend yourself, man. You're going to have a pack of, of wild people out here with knives and bats. And, they, and they're going to be trying to kill. They're going to be trying to uh, murder people, man, to eat. What the hell are you going to do with that? People walk, running in packs with guns. It, it's, it's nothing that you can physically do to, to get out of this, man. The only way out of this, the only it's only one way out of this. For you Israelites, I ain't talking. I'm not talking to the other nations. Not talking to the so-called white, the white man and the Chinese man and the Asian man. I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to the Negro, Latino man and Native American man. The only way out of this tribulation is hell is to come back to your power. Whose name is Yahweh and his son name is Yahweh Shai. Come to him sincerely and in truth, repent from your evil deeds. And, and Lord willing, he save us out of this thing, man. Or, or maybe... You can sway that neighbor to be on your side and build. Yeah, you can sway that neighbor to be on your side, but who who's to say that he he's gonna actually abide abide by that? Who's to say that he's actually going to not have uh, evil thoughts in the back of his mind and say, "Man, I'm gonna just kill his, I'm gonna just kill him and take all his food." I'm gonna pretend like I'm gonna be his friend, but I'm gonna just kill him and take his food, and that's gonna happen. You're gonna help. You're gonna try and help people. And people are going to stab one another in the back. Instead of you bird feeding them peanut butter jelly sandwiches. You know, all, all, all morality goes out of the window, especially if you're not in the truth. If you're not in the truth, you don't have any more, more, more morals. So you're going to be willing to do anything. 
And this is why we tell brothers, you know, brothers just coming in the truth. You know, you better st get, get the fuck away from these people, man. These people are animals. <clears throat> yeah, we got certain uh, relationships with people in the world for certain things and businesses, whatever the case may be. But when this all goes down, you shouldn't want to be around these motherfuckers, man. Because these motherfuckers are going to turn into animals. They're already animals. Okay? So it's going, it's about to go down, man. It's about to go down. Community. Now, yeah, there's people in this world that you could do all kinds of kind things to, and, and they're going to want to hurt you. I understand that. That I think it was a 40-ounce jar of peanut butter. Now this guy talking about feeding them with peanut butter. That's not going to work. It might work. It might work for a little bit, but things are going to get so bad that people are just going to start thinking about killing people. Take just taking them out and, and taking all their goods, man. Okay, it's 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 going to get really bad to the point where we can't even explain it. We're just trying to explain it the best way we can with the scriptures and use different movies to tell you. But it, it's going to be even worse than that, you know. But I'm gonna close it right there, Lord Williams. Edifying. Shalom to you, brother. Shalom.